three so. So this is how I'm gonna look at the beginning. Um, so one it one, two, three, and four, five's gonna be throwing the ball in. Um, so one of what one or four has to call it. Um, one or four has to call the ball because if they run into each other, the play won't work. So one of them has to say, I'm going first. And if it's and then two has to stay where they are, and then three has to go to the goal. So the, if it doesn't really work, if it doesn't work, then four, one, and three will go to the baseline, un, like I'm um, like under the goal. And then if they can't get, if five can't but get the ball into the um, like play, they then four or one will box out, or they will flare to the sides to the blocks. So two will stay there no matter what, and they're their last, and they're five's last option. If like no one's open, they'll pass it to five. That's about it. So today we're going to be doing the diamond press. So one is the ball chaser no matter what. Two and three cannot get beat up the sideline. If they get beat up the sideline, five has to come trap them. And then one is always coming behind you. So in case like five cannot get beat up the sideline after if they get beat up the sideline. So no one can ever get beat up the sideline. If you get beat, everybody must run back. You, as soon as it's like it's clear that we're not trapping them, everyone run back to the basket. But you're trying to still trap them if they're in your general area. So if you look here, this is the trap we work that we're going to work on. One and two will trap in the corner. Five takes away that sideline pass. Four, you creep down, and if they put a player at the free throw line, and you try to take that. Three. You bait them and you're trying to throw it right back to the passer because that's what we're going to do for our press break. You're going to try to bait them because if not, what will happen is it will be one-on-one. -on -one, so we want to try to bait them. Don't let them see you come in, but try to jump that pass. Over here, same exact thing. If one and three are trapping, two, you're, you're down. Five, now you're down trying to jump the free throw line pass. Four, you take away the sideline pass. All right? If they run down on that right there, the key is, one, if you're playing the ball chaser, you must be honest with the coach. you got to tell me. you got to tell Coach, uh, coach Ricky. you got to tell Coach tired. Brian. Tell us you're tired. I need, to, I need a sub because we can always move you back to four or five and let someone else chase the ball. But one is exhausting, and two and three, your only thing is that you're trapping and forcing them back to one. And you can't get beat up the sideline. That's All right. our number one priority. It says on the board right there, it says what? So, here are some tips. You need to trap hard no matter what. Chase the ball. If you get beat, knock it out from behind you. So right, Always try and run the player down. When it says trap hard, what that means is as you try come to, to yes, as you come into trap, you got to come hard. And I would prefer if you were yelling at them, something like, like ball, 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 ball. It will mess them up. It make it, the more loud and more pressure and you, you more put. Steel. Yes, if you if they somehow beat you and they do get up the sideline, they do get to the middle. Chase from behind. Lots of times the other girls will slow them down, and the girl ahead of you will dribble and they'll pick the ball up. When they pick it up or they're dribbling, you can run them down and knock it out from behind. All right. If it says on there, it says never give up the sideline. We're talking about two and three. When you are trapping, you may not give up the sideline. If they get by you on the sideline, it's a it's a, what I like to call a jailbreak, and they have everything to gain. It is where we want to go if our point guard gets the ball and they're going to play us one-on-one. -on -one. We want our point guard at the sideline because it's a foot race. So we're looking for that. We don't want to give them that. The last one, don't be afraid to jump passes. What that means is if you think – that you can get the steal, go Take for it. Take the risks. Take the risks. Except Take them. for four. Or four five. and five. No, I want you taking those risks. If you're on the sideline, try to steal it. If you're the one in the middle and you so, see that it's over your head, you have to be take correct. off. Just take off. Yeah, you're the last man of defense. All right, and that's about all, folks. No, but I think. So the ball is this up. is our two this is a one two two zone yeah so the ball is up here one so one is at the top two and three are on the elbows hold on we're not worried about them shooting NBA three so no. one don't chase them way out there one let them just dribble the ball around there because they'll throw it over your head 
Yeah, they're trying to throw the ball. They're, they'll probably put a player right there where the X is. Two and three, your job right here is to let him throw the ball to the wing before you switch out. Let him throw it out there, but don't let him throw it to that X right there. Four, if, so, if there's a player right there for, they can only be in there three seconds. So if they're there, make sure you watch what's called flares, where the players are going to try to run into the lane and look for a pass. If your only job is to guard the paint, don't get, don't start looking at the wing players. We don't care. Your job's paint players only, four and five. If you're on the block, you only guard paint players. I well, don't care. Five, if there's one right here, you both guard them. He does not care if there's a wing player way over here on the wing. They're not going to shoot threes, and if they do, great. That's a that's a high, that's a lower percentage shot for them than a layup because we're we run out there. The guards' job one, two, and three. Their job is to guard that. If you look over here, the next one, so if we're trying three, to get them to pass that ball into the corner. So three, so over here, so three was here. So they they go up to where one was. One and two are trapping the ball where the player is. Four and five slide up to um. Four and slide. Slide You're making like a wall foot. there. So and four, yeah, they can't. Four and five take away that easy little dump pass. Now one we and two have them we trapped. Don't care if there's like yes, three and then three. We don't care any over here. We just care about. The they're not strong right enough to throw it across yet. Three, right there. Three. Once they have the ball in that corner, three. You jump the pass. It's going to go right in front and of there's you. There's one right here. There's going to be a pass right back to the top. Three. You run over and jump that because. The mo odds are they're not going to be able to throw it to where three is standing. Same so, thing. So, on this one, <coughs> oh, it's the same thing except the other side. So one, yep. and two, one, and, one and three are now trapping the ball over here. Two slides up. Four and five are switch positions. It's the same thing. Same thing we're doing in our trap as far as jumping it. Make sure you always jump it. Like, if you jump the pass, it's it's easier. Don't just let, it, let them be comfortable. My favorite saying is, Pressure breaks pipes. All right, pressure. If you pressure people and you're loud and, and in their face, they will make mistakes. If you let them get comfortable, they will not. Pressure breaks pipes. Pressure breaks their pipes. All right, and what do you got to say about that? That's all. That's all okay. It sounds fantastic. Oh, dude, this is